So when I put out videos concerning Belgium, living and studying in Belgium, one of those questions that I get asked is, Flavine, what are the kind of jobs that I'll be able to do if I move to Belgium as a student? So in today's video, we're going to be trashing out that question and also I'll be telling you guys some of the jobs that you can do while studying and living in Belgium. Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. I'm called Flavine <laughs> and I'm an international student based here in Belgium and on my channel, I like to make immigration content like the one you're about to watch now i also like to make lifestyle content whereby i just show you guys how i'm navigating this small country as a young girl so in today's video we're going to be talking about part-time student jobs that you as a student can do while you are studying but before we go into that i want to lay down some points so that you get to understand the dynamics of working and studying in belgium one thing you must know is that before you can be able to work any part-time job or do anything in belgium you need your id card so immediately you get to belgium of course you guys know this already you need to go to your commune you need to register and then get your id card because you need it for administrative purposes and every other thing that basically you want to do in this belgium and that includes jobs and also you need a valid belgian bank account where you can receive your payments and you know your salary basically one other thing that i want you to know is the number of hours that you're supposed to work as a student I've, i mean i've talked about this in other videos as a student living in belgium you are expected to work 425 hours in a year and 20 hours in a week so if you are looking for any job most employers will only let you work 20 hours a week and 475 hours in a year and now the only advantage that you have with this is that with this 425 hours you pay a lesser percentage of social contribution you are only allowed to pay 2.71 percent of social contribution as a student when you're working within that 475 hours in a year meanwhile if you are not a student you're a regular worker who works 40 hours in a week you are expected to pay 13.07 percentage of social country so basically what we always say is that as a student you don't even pay any tax in belgium let's talk about minimum wage now as a student in belgium if you are less than 20 21 years you are not expected to earn anything less than eight euros this is what is stated legally and then if you are more than 21 years you're not expected to earn anything less than 9.87 euros but of course we know that it doesn't work everywhere there are some employers that will pay you less than even if you are more than 21 years and there are some employers that will still pay you more than that so it depends on where you work another thing that i want you to understand is that there are some bonuses that comes with your pay so let's say that you work in the night shift the night shift can be like from 12 midnight to let's say 5 a.m you can have an additional 1.29 euros added to your salary i mean i should know that one of my um warehouse jobs that we work in the night yeah we have an additional amount added to our number our number of euros paid per hour and then if you work in let's say during public holidays and sundays you have like two euros extra added to the number of to the amount that you work per hour and some really good companies they come with other bonuses like transportation bonuses and all of that mind you not all employers take care of that you are supposed to take care of that but then some companies do offer transportation bonuses so if you go with maybe the bicycle they are going to give you a bonus for that if you go with the car you go with your scooter it all depends on where you work and the last thing that I want to talk about is a CV. So before you get any job, you need to come up with a CV. I have a video talking about the first CV that helped me get my first student jobs in Belgium. I'm going to link it up in the i card and I'm going to also leave that video down in the description box. Go ahead and watch that video so that you have an idea of how to come out with your first CV. But then I wanted to also point out because I said in that video that you know that you, you are not supposed to have with just one cv okay. I, I do believe that a cv is um you come up with a cv depending on the job roles and the responsibilities of the job okay so if you're looking for a normal student job like an unskilled student job you should have a different cv and if you're looking for you know a student job tailored to a particular profession let's say marketing administration you should have different cvs for that so enough of that and let's get into the business of today what are the student jobs that i can do while studying in a belgium the first one that i'm going to be talking about is housekeeping this was actually my first job in belgium i was working in one hotel in antwerp yeah so i was working as a housekeeper i used to clean hotel rooms change sheets 
clean toilets so you can work as a housekeeper you can clean hotels you can clean personal homes which company you work for okay one of those cleaning companies that i would highly recommend is easy life because i feel like they are consistent they'll give you consistent number of hours they don't really take into consideration your student hours. so if you work with easy life they are not in the business of counting whether you are working uh, more than 475 hours in 475 hours in a year they don't count your student hours so that is an, an additional thing so i would highly recommend easy life when it comes to cleaning when it comes to housekeeping actually they let you go and clean personal homes okay and yeah i used to be one of those People that is so scared about cleaning personal homes but then i gave it a try and it's not so bad okay personally just pray god whoever i'm going to clean their house let them be good let them be kind let them be not let them be you know welcoming and leave the rest to god okay so yeah i have tried that i have cleaned um hotel rooms i've cleaned personal homes so you can actually do housekeeping that is a good job for students another thing is working as a cashier you can work as a cashier in you know little retail shops or in supermarkets like Lidl, Aldi, Colroyd, it depends on you. The only challenge that I don't see so many international students working in this area is the language. So let's say that you are living in the Flemish region like I am doing now. It will be a challenge for you to work as a kasha because you cannot speak Dutch. So in order for me to work like a kasha in let's say Aldi, Lidl, Colroyd, I need to have an extensive knowledge of Dutch. Okay, So that's why I don't work in those areas because how am I going to be communicating with clients when they come to pay for their goods? So yeah, if you can speak Dutch, you can work as a cashier. But then in places like Brussels, I could actually do work as a cashier because I know um, international students in Brussels that work as cashiers because they can speak French. You know that Brussels is more of a francophone region okay so if you can speak french you can work as a cashier in brussels another kind of job that i want to talk is about is working in a restaurant so you can work in a restaurant as a waiter as a server it all depends on you if you can communicate effectively or you know how the language works and all of that because i think that another thing that would disturb you to work in such places is the language i do know that most belgians are open to speaking english but then it's just good when you can speak the national language you understand and if you cannot work as a server you cannot work as a waiter you can work as a barista so people would do um fixed drinks and all of that you know all these People know how to make punch and all of that. You can work in that sector or still in that restaurant. You can work in the Afuas um, <laughs> area. That is the behind the kitchen whereby you are in charge of cleaning the plates and all of that. Yeah, so a lot of students actually do that cleaning plates. And it's not an easy job actually. But then you can, if you have the energy, you can work like cleaning plates in the kitchen. You can also work in um, shops as like an ambassador. So let's say that. I have a good fashion sense i'm in love with clothes i can actually work with a store like zara i can work in a zara store around me because whereby when people come into the store and they're looking for something i show them where they are i can work with let's say the jd sports if i'm a lover of sneakers when somebody comes some people come into the store and they're like i'm looking for a sneaker but then i don't really know what i want you can look at them and recommend those things now those kind of things are very good in brussels because I I can speak French I can communicate it will be very difficult for me to do that around Hassel or the Flemish region whereby everybody just speaks Dutch so another thing is that if you know the language you can work there the next one that I want to talk about is working in factories and this is something that I have done okay there are so many factories in this building so many I cannot even start counting them they are meat factories they are these factories there are factories producing all sorts of things okay you can work with factories one thing i've learned about these factories is that they are very accommodating when it comes to the language even though of recent they've been wanting people who can only speak the national language now if you want to apply to a factory they'll be like can you speak dutch oh no 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 we're looking for somebody who can speak dutch they always say for safety reasons so that if something is going on in the factory and they're speaking in dutch everybody can understand i mean i get their point though but then you can work in factories there are some factories that don't discriminate okay i think i've worked in two factories in this year one was the meat factory another one was a salad factory i'm not going to call their names here so you can actually work in factories and one thing i love about them is that with factories they always pay like from 13 euros upwards even though the work is not easy like <laughs> i kid you not the work is never easy to work in factories is not bong bong it's 
very difficult but then if you have the energy you can work there so yeah you can also look for factories around you and apply the fifth one is working in the logistics sector and you when i mean the logistics sector i mean working as an other picker or just working basically in warehouses so when it comes to belgium the logistics sector is a very very big one okay they don't play with that there are so many logistic companies in belgium so you can always work in any of their warehouses you guys know one of them that i've talked about one of my warehouses where i work in the night it's actually for the logistics sector and i work as local sort my job is basically to scan different parcels that are going to different smaller um cities or areas around hassled so you can actually work in the logistics sector i know people who work for companies like scania ups katona c it all depends on you okay there's dpd all of these companies like to take in students so feel free if you want to work in a warehouse you know go ahead they do accept students another one is working as a delivery person so if you have a bicycle you have a scooter you can work for a delivery company so for for example in Hassel here we have places like KFC Domino's Pizza that are always looking for people to work and one of those delivery companies that I know is Deliveroo okay they pay like 12 euros per hour for students so if you know that you want to work as a delivery person you want to go to homes and deliver pizza food and every other thing you can actually sign up with Deliveroo they are very good so if you know that you don't have any problem <laughs> doing deliveries during winter under the rain under the sun under the wind you can actually do that for delivery companies now a place like Brussels I know that this is so common when the first time I went to Brussels I'm like wow so many delivery companies we have Uber Eats there is Deliveroo and so many other um, delivery companies so a place like Brussels is very common but then I think this side like they have region this other area i mostly see just delivery people you know doing deliveries but then you can work as a delivery person okay you can work for catering and events i think this is very very normal like during the summer period because i remember like when it was time for summer i used to see so many adverts about you know because there are so many um events there are so many concerts there are so many things so they're always looking for people to help with setting up working behind the scenes and all of that and i think they don't discriminate with the language and all of that so if you know that you are somebody like that you can look out for job opportunities like that during the summer period because i feel like that is when they really need people it's not really common like during um like when it's winter season or you know when school is going on it's very prominent like during the summer period so during the summer period you can put an eye to work like that and before i forget no i was talking about 475 hours that you need to work as a student then during the summer period your hours are not being counted okay during the summer period or any little holiday that we have in belgium here any school holiday that we have in belgium even if it's one week or two weeks you can work the way you want and those hours are not counted at all another kind of job that i've heard students working is like helping in farms you know to do harvest so they harvest potatoes onions apples you know you can work in those farms as well i always hear that the pay is around like 11 12 13 euros i'm not really sure because i've not worked there i've just heard students talking about it how they go and help you know to harvest these crops and they get paid so you can actually look for those farms around you if you live in a community where you have farms you can actually look for those farms to work as a student now i know that i've talked about so many jobs and most of them look like they are more like on skilled jobs and all of that now I also want to say that you should not limit yourself with just these jobs there are so many other student jobs that I am not even aware of okay <laughs> I only talk about the jobs that are around me and jobs that I've seen other people doing so I know that there may be other student jobs that I am not aware about so it's left to you to do your research and I also wanted to say that don't limit yourself to these jobs don't think that as an international student or as a student you can only work menial jobs like working in restaurants working nay you can actually go ahead and try the corporate world I mean I'm um, a small testimony of that I've worked in both sectors okay okay I used to work for like this construction company 
in Brussels whereby I used to help them with their e-learning e platform. I used to create content, edit so that more of like safety content for them so that their workers can go to the e-learning platform and learn about safety measures and all of that. So I used to work from home for this company and I was, I think I was being paid like 12 euros per hour. So you see, I already added that experience to my CV. So it's possible for you to also work for corporate companies company so i'm also in the process of you know looking for these corporate companies that are willing to take me this school year so don't limit yourself when you come yes it's okay for you to you know get into these other jobs but then don't just be limited to say okay this is that these are the only jobs that i can do you can go ahead to you know do your research look for corporate jobs jobs that are tailored to your skills knowledge abilities and other characteristics okay and one of those interims that i highly recommend when it comes to looking for corporate student jobs is studaro like you see on the screen here you can go ahead check them out on google you can create an account put your cv and whenever they have a job that is tailored to you they'll reach out to you and also when it comes to these other jobs like you know um working in factories working in warehouses i highly recommend um interviews like grants that it do jobs um easy like when it comes to cleaning and when it comes to hotel you can check places like holiday in mercury hotel if you are in antwerp and yeah just a bunch of other things okay feel free to always read my description box because i also leave other resources and in total for us to round up all of these things if you want to know more about working as a student your student as anything that concerning you working taxes paying social contribution and all of that i would highly recommend you check this website called student at work.be this is a website that is dedicated to students and when it comes to working in belgium studying um your ass your social contribution your minimum wage what is legal what your employer can do to you and what your employer is not supposed to do to you all of this information you can find them at student at work okay dot be they are good resource for you i hope that you guys learned one or two things from this video comment down below if you have any other question and i'm going to reply them and if you are somebody who is interested in getting admissions to better universities and you want to you feel like these videos that i'm doing are not enough for you and you want to have want to have one on one um discussions with me feel free to leave me a message on instagram this is my instagram on the screen or send me an email and we can always book out a one-on-one -on -one consultation it's not free by the way <laughs> we can always book out a one-on-one -on -one consultation whereby you have the opportunity to ask me any question ranging from living in belgium schooling in belgium the, the cost of living the standard of living housing any question okay and i'm just going to be there to respond to you all thank you guys so much for watching i hope you learned one or two things and if you think that i've been dishing out value with my videos please make sure that you hit on the rest subscribe button like comment share and all that good stuff and i'm going to see you in my next one bye